What does high score mean? New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? Does I break it? Hello everyone and welcome to Veteran Gaming, I am Aaron. Tonight in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, we're going to be talking all things Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. We're going to talk about his prerequisites, how you should mod him, his abilities, so you have an understanding not only of where to use him if you have him, but what to use up against him if you're playing up against him. So hopefully this video is helpful. Before we dive into Supreme Leader Kylo Ren though, I do want to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. And I don't want to endorse a game that I don't think is actually fun to play. So as you can see right here, this is my Raid Shadow Legends account. And I had a really big week this week. I pulled Tervold, the legendary barbarian attacking hero. He looks like a Mack truck and that is exactly how he hits with that giant blade of his. He's been so cool to start fitting into some teams. He needs some gear. He needs some masteries. He needs some works. But he is already... A huge addition to the team and we also got the rare leveled pain keeper which is something I think is amazing about raid shadow legends this is a rare hero that is going to absolutely change my clan boss team which is the the area you want to focus on immediately to get the best resources in the game and I essentially had to wait for this rare there are a couple epics that could do it also but it wasn't like I needed a legendary or I couldn't progress the fact that I could pull a rare champion that's going to help in the most important area of the game is so massive and something I absolutely love about Raid Shadow Legends. So as you see here, I don't have the gear in yet. I don't have the masteries all the way sorted out. The levels aren't even all the way up there. It's what we're currently working on. It's been a big week between Tervold and the Pain Keeper, and I am just looking forward to progressing in all of these wonderful game modes. Like the Clan Boss, obviously got to get the uh, scores up there. We got the Doom tower we got cursed city we got the arena so many fun game modes so many amazing heroes i mean the artwork is incredible the animations are incredible the depth and diversity of the heroes and the combat and the combinations you can use are just absolutely wonderful if anything this game is getting more fun the longer i play it is not getting boring or weak or tiresome I'm still loving raid so a big shout out to raid if you guys want to get involved please check on the QR code on the screen or click the links down below in the description of the video you will get some free goodies from raid for sponsoring this video you're gonna get epic skill book epic champions some silver some great resources that are not only going to help me as a content creator but get you started with an advantage on your raid journey so guys Make sure you're getting started with Raid. Start your journey now. Click on the links. Get those bonuses. It's a win-win. Thank you to Raid for sponsoring this video. We're going to dive into Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. And the first place we're going to start is his journey guide on how to get him and unlock him. The good news is, since he was one of the first GLs released into the game, nowadays his requirements feel pretty moderate, borderline easy, especially as far as a galactic legend goes. A lot of Relic 7s, a lot of Relic 5s, some Relic 3s, which are pretty rare nowadays. The other good thing about him is, other than Veteran, Sm ha! Veteran Smuggler Han Solo and Emperor Palpatine, it's all First Order stuff. It does include the Finalizer, which might take a little bit longer. Make sure you're working on your ships. But other than that, he's building the First Order crew that he typically pairs pretty well with. So it's nice that you're building those full first order usable teams while you're building up to your galactic legend on the flip side the downside is first order is really not that strong until you get supreme leader kylo ren so if this is the first set of teams that you're going for you might struggle in some of the early game content because the leaderships are just you know moderate a lot of the heroes are kind of lacking uh hux does his best crew Kylo Ren unmasked do their best, but uh, they, they really struggle to kind of carry some of the other heroes involved in the journey. Also, because it was the first Galactic Legends that were released, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and Rey actually have some difficult chapters in the actual journey itself, and you can drop tickets. I've released uh, videos and guides on both. I highly recommend you check them out if you haven't already. I'm actually going to be going for Ray again on this account, and this time I'll have C3PO, 
So keep an eye out for those guides coming up also. So Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, these journeys are actually semi-difficult. You really need to make sure you know what you're doing, which is definitely a con for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren because it takes so long to build the prerequisites. It takes so long to farm the tickets. By the time we get to the event, we just want something cool and something cinematic, something that reminds us of the books and the movies. We don't want to be wasting tickets, which is something they fixed when you get to the later ones like Jedi Master Kenobi and Lord Vader. They have very easy galactic journeys, but Supreme Leader Kylo Ren actually has some difficult stuff in there. All right, enough about how to get him. What does he do when you get him? First of all, on his first attack, his basic, it does hit very hard and it hits harder the longer you have him active and he's gaining mastery. But basically, he's going to inflict buff immunity and then hit several times. On his A2 here, my favorite ability is probably just because it stuns the enemy for two turns which can't be copied, dispelled, or resisted, which is absolutely massive. It also plays a bit of a support function and dispels all buffs on all enemies. And if that support wasn't enough on his third ability here, Furious Onslaught, he's actually going to uh, dispel all debuffs on all dark side alleys, which is cool. Not only First Order, all dark side alleys, have their buffs, debuffs dispelled, which is cool. He's also going to hit as an AoE and siphon mastery. A lot of Supreme Leader Kylo Ritz, <laughs> a lot of Supreme Leader Kylo Ren's kit is based on this siphon ability and the mastery, which is really cool because he gets stronger the longer you play him. And this works for any hero in the entire game, right? If you want to know what their mastery does, because it's different per hero. You just go ahead in here into their stats and it's going to tell you Supreme Leader Kylo Ren's increasing crit chance, crit damage, and damage from his mastery. So the more he siphons from enemies, not only does it increase critical chance, critical damage, and offense, which makes him hit harder and harder and harder, but actually it removes mastery from that target enemy. So if some other, let's, you know what, let's just pull one up right here. Sith Eternal. It doesn't work on Galactic Legends, but this is just an example. So Sith Eternal's mastery is accuracy, critical chance, and damage. I have seen matches where Supreme Leader Kylo Ren has, has siphoned out so much accuracy that literally that hero does not hit anything. It got kind of crazy, but it is very cool that not only does he get stronger, but he makes the enemy weaker at the same time. So some really strong abilities, especially that stun on the stasis strike, just because it grants you a lot of turn meter control and just battlefield control in general. Especially if you have Hux or First Order Officer, they can actually give Supreme Leader Kylo Ren turns and like uh, Phasma, Phasma can increase turn meter. So there are some First Order abilities to give him more turns. And if he's just stunning out members of the other team, then obviously that kind of control on top of the siphoning and the damage makes him really, really, really strong. The other kind of cool thing about Supreme Leader Kylo Ren is his leadership ability doesn't only affect First Order units. As you see there, Dark Side allies have speed, mastery, and crit damage. He's giving those to all Dark Side allies, not just First Order, which gives him a little bit of plug and play viability. And you can do some fun cheese stuff with some combos like uh, Geonosian Brood and uh, the Night Sister Zombie and that kind of stuff. All right, so his ultimate ability, right? This is the real moneymaker here. He's going to go into an aggressive stance. And based on the ultimate charge when you activate is how long it lasts. Aggressive stance for one turn, if that's 60%, 85%, 100%. Typically, you want to wait for 100%, but you can't always do that. While he's in that aggressive stance, he has no cooldowns. You can use that poke stun ability as much as you want, or you can use the AoE siphon. Doesn't matter. He does not take damage. He can't be stunned all that good stuff. So he is uber, uber, uber powerful when he's in his ultimate, which is fantastic. All right, so there, those are the abilities. When we talk about his mods, there's two main versions of him you can use. You can use health and offense, like I have currently on the screen, or health and speed is also a pretty common use for him. If you actually go up to, uh, let's pull up, here he goes. So here are the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren mod sets. 
health and offense as i said health and speed is the most used but also people out there have health crit damage speed offense and crit chance swgoh.gg an awesome resource if you're not using it has been saying to put critical damage on the triangle offense on the cross health on the circle and then speed on the arrow obviously so some pretty decent mod setups available they should make sense because again this dude hits hard that's his that's his whole song and dance right he wants to hit hard and just erase everybody he's an angry little boy all right that wraps up the mods now let's just talk about some general pros and cons and that will lead us into a little bit of a conversation about who to use him against and who to avoid using him against the counter mechanics right so pros for him the stuns provide excellent control of the battlefield and do a ton of damage uh, the requisites are pretty cheap for a galactic legend and they build teams. They're not nearly as scattered as some of the other galactic legend requirements. He has ramping mastery, which not only weakens the enemy, but also makes him stronger. So you're not going to get, usually not going to get timed out on a battle because as long as you're using that siphon ability properly, he's going to get stronger and stronger and stronger and you shouldn't have any timeout issues. He should get through most everybody other than a couple isolated incidents that I kind of mentioned earlier. And his leadership works for all dark side, not just first order, which is pretty cool. All right, let's talk about cons for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. First of all, and the biggest one in my opinion, is he does not stop other teams from manipulating gaining turn meter, which means teams can run a turn meter train and beat him down quickly and early, especially because a lot of his kit is built on that ramping up the siphons and the mastery to do more damage and weaken the enemy. But if the other turn team just gets a turn meter train going, he's never going to get really a chance to get up and started. So that's a big, big con for Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Uh, he also cannot get around a taunt. So if that enemy has the taunt up and they have some kind of ability where his stun pokey thing isn't clearing that, or it pops right back up again, then you have to get through that taunt. He can't avoid that, which is kind of a problem sometimes. Uh, also, First Order are a pretty weak faction without him. So while you are building those teams from the prerequisites, you're not really getting that much out of it. Uh, I know they've tried to done some stuff with the uh, Omicrons, like uh, Phasma got one for Territory Wars. So I, they've tried to do some things... But in general, First Order is just never a crack squad without Supreme Leader Kylo Ren in there somewhere. All right, last thing we're going to talk about is where to use him and definitely where not to use him in PvP setups. So I got Grand Arena Science here pulled up, real nice little resource. And it's showing teams to defeat him with when he's on defense. Obviously, you got your Jedi Master Kenobis, uh, your Jedi Master Lukes can get it done a little bit. Um, Star Killer can also get him out. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, cleanup kind of stuff. You'd use Geonosians with Droidica because you need that real hard hitter from Droidica. Um, they do have some uh, Sith Eternal stuff here if you have the Armorer. Some Jedi stuff here, mainly because they can get around any form of taunts. Like in that specific lineup right above my head, you'd get Hux out immediately using uh, Jedi Knight Revan's Force Taunt. And then you can kind of pick off some of those other people. And then SLKR eventually gets whittled down. Same thing with this Jedi team here again. That has Ray in it, which doesn't hurt. Um, but those are just some of the options you can use to take out SLKR. Uh, this is another one I wanted to highlight. The Imperial Troopers here. He cannot stop a turn meter train. So that Dark Trooper there... Uh, can just absolutely wail away on him. There's actually a couple examples of Imperial Trooper teams here that can take him out, same as the Jedi. So there are some, and then there's some real weird ones here too, like a, what is that, a Rex lead, mostly 501st plus Barris crew, Shock T and clones. So he apparently doesn't like the clones either. Just a couple of options. Check Grand Arena Science if you need to take out an SLKR. If you use an SLKR on offense, Taking out droids, no problem. He's soloing this uh, BAM IG-11 uh, Emphasis Nest crew. Uh, no, Not to worry about the scoundrels. He can do some cheese stuff like I mentioned earlier because he has the dark side lead with the zombie and uh, some of the Night Sister crew there. 
can take out Jabba, which is pretty nice. He can take out some Lord Vader combos. Again, you got some Night Sister Cheese involved in those. Can take out the Qui Gon Omicron, obviously. It'd be weird if he couldn't. Can take out some weird Ray lineups. Malgus, Sith Empire, not too shabby. So you can see, like, he can, and obviously they're not mentioning a lot of the real low teams that you can take out here because Grand Arena Science is, you know, not focused on that kind of stuff. It's worried about some of the more challenging combos. Can take out Rebels here, although I've seen Rebels kind of go the other way also. It's a bit more challenging. You got to have the good mods in there. Um, but this one, I would say, is a little bit dicey, which is why that rating right there says complex. That wouldn't be my go to use right there. But. Hopefully this gives you some kind of idea with what to do with your Supreme Leader, Kylo Ren. He is a really good Galactic Legend, especially early on. He helps in a lot of PvE content just because of those stuns, the building, the mastery, Conquest especially. He is a monster inside of Galactic Conquest. So there we go. There is our Supreme Leader, Kylo Ren 101. Questions, comments, concerns? Throw them in the uh, comments section down below. A big shout out and thank you to Raid Shadow Legends again for sponsoring the video. If you enjoy my content, make sure you check out my Veteran Gaming Raid Shadow Legends YouTube channel. I'm putting out some content over there also. If you enjoy the video, if you love your Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss upcoming content. And as always, have fun. Good luck. So I got that going for me, which is nice.